Hello everyone, this is Yara again. In this video, I'll be telling you about things to look out for before picking your accommodation and what to expect when you arrive in Leicester to live in your accommodation. Now I'll be telling you more about my experience. Um, when I got my unconditional offer from De Montfort University, I was very excited. However, I started thinking about the accommodation and where I was going to live. Um, I did everything online. Everything is very easy to do online. Before picking your accommodation, there are a few things that you need to think about. You need to think about um, the price. How much are you willing to pay? Um, you need to set the budget for yourself because university isn't just about the accommodation. There are other things that comes with the university. Therefore, you need to think of the budget. And based on the budget, you'll be able to pick the accommodation um, that's going to suit your preferences. Uh, second thing, you need to think about the location. Uh, do you prefer getting an extra five minute of sleep in the morning uh, or would you enjoy walking a bit more? Uh, would you like to live closer to the, your faculty building or closer to the gym if you enjoy working out? So these are things that you need to think about. The location is very important. Um, you need to think about the facilities provided by the accommodation. You need to think whether you would like to live in a shared flat with other students and share the kitchen and maybe share the bathroom or would you like to have your own um, ensuite room meaning that you get your own ensuite bathroom however you get to share the kitchen with them um, or maybe you would like to live in a studio flat where you get your own space, your own kitchen um, and you do not share anything with anyone these are very important things that you need to think about. I picked New Work Point, which is on campus, however, it's privately owned by the Unite Group. So I decided to live in a shared flat, meaning that I had my own room with my own ensuite bathroom. However, I shared the kitchen. I was living with um, four um, lovely, lovely, lovely international ladies. They were all studying, obviously, at De Montfort University, and it was their first year. Um, I got to know more about their culture and traditions and it was lovely just to wake up, go to the kitchen and find someone inside, talk to them for a little bit and then go to your lecture or seminar. Um, so that was what I wanted in the first year. Um, I had to do my washing and drying outside of the building but it was still in the accommodation. Um, the accommodation provided a billiard, a TV in a lounge area um, and uh, a barbecue area as well and it provided um, letter boxes um, so if you get your letters it's all in your accommodation in the morning they would put tea and coffee and maybe some biscuits that was lovely to take with you to your lectures as a quick um, snack then second year which is this year I moved to Grange Lane um, it is privately owned as well and basically this year I live in a studio flat therefore I do not share anything with anyone and um, so my uh, advice for first year students is to live with other students because you get the chance to socialize and especially first year when you're away from home if you feel homesick you have people around you so yeah these were things you need to think about before picking your accommodation my advice is to read a lot Look at a lot of accommodations, give yourself time to think um, of where you would like to live. Read reviews written by students because they are very helpful. If you've got time, do not stress yourself out and think of it as a new experience um, that you are going to enjoy. So there's no need to stress out about any of that. I hope you found this video um, beneficial and helpful um, and I'll be seeing you in another video. Bye!